Hey, you beautiful people. Lisa sharing life stories with you. I put some makeup on. Get some ready with me. And I wanted to say, I can't believe it says 90 Fahrenheit outside. I'm like, that's just too hot. What's bad in Michigan today, the humidity is what's the kicker. And I want to talk a minute about these wildfires. See, you they never know anything until after it's said and done. And I, and I don't believe them. I believe that these... This stuff in the air is way worse than anybody's letting on to. And what I mean by that is they said our air quality in, in Detroit or Michigan is usually like 50 or 60. And if you go up north, it's like a 30 or 25, like Mackinac and those wonderful places up there. So it's way better, right? It's over 200, almost 300 right now. They're saying supposedly, excuse me, I got to drink some of this. If you go outside, if you go outside, I'm eating another piece of candy that I don't need, my fat butt. Um, if you go outside for about an hour, it's like smoking two or three cigarettes, and I believe it's way worse than they're letting anybody know about. It's way worse than that even. Because they're telling you to go out. My friend sent me a text yesterday to go out with mask on. Well, isn't this awful? I'm eating this in front of you. So anyways, I, went, I wanted to use my lunch bucket. And uh, I'm just too busy. Luckily, I started early, later today and later tomorrow. I'm starting at work. But I ran all day before I got to work. Ran, ran, pay bills. Well, my sister-in-laws don't even realize. They have no clue what's going on. Not that they probably even care. My mother-in-law, we didn't know. And we lived with her because it's none of our business. She was two months behind on everything. I had a shut-off notice from DTE. Um, I paid that. My husband helped me a little bit, but I paid everything mostly. Um, cancellation notice from homeowners insurance. I paid all that. Um, the second mortgage. I paid all that. Got that caught up. Two payments. By next week, I'll be caught up with everything with the first mortgage. And plus all the regular bills. And then I'm getting rid of our stupid wow cable and I'm getting us three fire sticks because we got three TVs we need another TV where my husband went instead of putting his bed because he watches Hitler and stupid shit and all that crime crap all night long and I don't want to hear people screaming and people getting more I don't want to hear that so and he smokes all night. I can't. I cannot be around somebody like that. It's up and down, kicking and swerving. No. It's like he's fighting a fight when he sleeps. It's crazy town. So we're gonna put his bed in his mother, his ma's room, and we're gonna get a TV for that room. That's the. That's down the road. So then the family room, we can get another little love seat or a chair, something nice. I got a call on our couch because we have a warranty on that. He bought me that couch. That couch is new. We had a warranty in the other one, and he paid an extra $800 on that to get us a brand new couch, and it's still crap. So I got I got a call about that. It's a weekend. No one's there. I'm going to call Monday. And I'm going to get us a new couch. The whole arm and everything's loose. I'm not, That's not right. All that money. I'm not having a couch that's half falling apart. And it's brand new. That's not happening. So I'm calling and I'm getting us a new couch. You can bet on that. Number two. I, I'm going to get rid of. When I get call caught up next week. The following Wednesday. I'm going to go get, have my husband call my friend and get three fire sticks. 
And she's got a thing called Pub TV where you get every channel there is for $15 a month. And I'm going to get that Assurity plan through Michigan of $30 off. And I'll have internet and TV and every channel there is for like $60 or $70 a month. And compared to $320 a month we're paying for stupid wow cable. That is insanity. And we just have stupid HBO and um, Cinemax, I think. I mean, it's just ridiculous to what they charge. And we don't get, we half the time we're not getting cable. Signal goes out. We got to change, move the boxes. Oh, it's just a problem. So we're going to save a ton of money that way because we I can't afford all that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So, I'm going to get rid of that, get the fire sticks, have my husband talk with my friend, get that all set up. We're going to do that pub TV thing and just have wow internet and cable, blah, 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 fire sticks, bam. That's what we're going to do. So, and I bought the fire sticks before and nobody used them. I spent almost $200 for three fire sticks the first time when my mother-in-law was alive. And my husband goes, well, I didn't do it because my mom wouldn't have known how to change a channel. But you're home every day with her. You can change her stupid channels for her. All she watched was Channel 2 all day. Channel 7 on Sunday night, she would watch America's Funniest Home Videos like her mother. She'd watch that every Sunday night. And then on Saturday and Sunday... She'd watch uh, Eye on TV with all that crime crap like my husband watches. She likes all that stupid stuff, too. I mean, you like what you like. I didn't care. She liked it. I was happy. But it's a huge amount of money. We're going to save over 200 and some dollars a month. I can't afford that. It's like paying a car payment, $320 a month for, for a wow cable. Are you kidding me? You're a joke. And you have shitty service and nobody can speak any kind of English you can understand on the phone. I don't care if somebody's foreign. That's fine. But when you got to talk to somebody and I only know how to speak English, that's not a good setup. Meaning it's very hard to understand them. And it's it's impossible. So, I'm going to get rid of that huge bill. Between that and saving that $30 a month. And I counted, like, instead of buying one of these every day, I get the Sip and Save program. It's $10 a month and some change. I'm saving $28 a month on this stupid getting one of these before I come to work every day. Even when I'm off, I get one for... For $10 a month, that's huge. I'm saving $28. So with all that, it's like $250 or $60 I'm saving. Or $80. Between $250 and $280 a month. That's huge. The cable, the pop. And they give you a $30 a month connectivity thing. I got to apply for it again because I lost the... Uh, I lost the thing. I'm not in the mood to do it today. Like I said, my dog kept me up. I'm praying this flea medicine works. It's real expensive, yada, yada, yada. It was on sale for 70 regular 80 It's a Vantage, blah, blah, blah. Got it from Pet Supply Plus. I showed them the picture of what my friend gets at the vet. This is the closest thing they have to it. The only thing that this doesn't cover is the... The um, heartworms. And I'm afraid to give my dog heartworm medicine because I remember back in the day, so many dogs died from the heartworm medicine. It's kind of like a catch-22. I don't know what you're supposed to do anymore because so many dogs died from it. But then yet again, I don't want my dog to catch heartworms or anything like that. So it just scares me both ways. But at least he'll be done with these fleas. And this medicine I got is it's supposed to be for fleas, mosquitoes, ticks, and all kinds of other stuff. All kinds of, and some other stuff. Mites or some, there's other things. It's like real expensive. It's supposed to be like one of the top of the line. The guy who is a manager up there, he goes, this is what I give my dogs. He goes, this is what I wanted you to buy before, but I didn't have the money. So I had the money now. Because that's important. I saved up for it. And I got it for my dog. So he'll be good till September. 
pray to God this stuff works. So, because I need some sleep tonight. And then when he when he gets his time messed up, my dog, too. He don't like fireworks at all. He'll hit my bed and cry. And I'm a real light sleeper. Sleeper wakes me up. And I'm thinking he wants to come up there. And I yell at him. He wants to go outside. He runs to the stairs. And I'm like, Woofy, you're driving me freaking crazy. Doesn't do it to my husband. Does it to me. Well, he does it when I'm not there. He does it on the couch where my husband's sitting. And if he falls asleep, he does it to him there. He drives him crazy too. But when I'm home, he's on me like white on rice. He won't leave me alone. He's never happy. He wants his way about everything. And he gets it and then he still don't want it. He's a he's the baby. And he freaking knows he's the baby. Drives me crazy. So yeah. Lisa sharing life stories with you. I wanted just to touch base with you beautiful people and say how fortunate and blessed I was. I gave a bunch of stuff away. My friend knows this older man. I gave him a whole bunch of cheese and a whole bunch of food that I found. Um, I, that lady in Detroit, I gave her a whole bunch of stuff. Gave her all the dog food and a ton of other stuff. So I'm still helping people behind the scenes even when you don't see me. Just know that I'm giving to people pretty much every day. Every day. And I then I gave the neighbors next door a bunch of stuff. That was before all that. Before I, just clothes that my friend gave me that didn't fit and brand new hairbrushes and this and that. I'm, I'm always trying to help people. Every day I go, what can I give away today that will help somebody? Even though I don't have nothing much. And I try. And it makes me feel good to give back. Once you start giving to people, you'll feel that feeling and you know it's the right thing to do. You'll feel, you'll know it's the right thing to do and you'll feel blessed that you can do it. And there's no other feeling in the world when you can give to people. You know, that's when God steps in and changes your life. And I believe that. I truly do. And with you beautiful people encouraging me over there, I'm going to keep on pressing forward. Watch my videos, like them, share them, and be inspired that I love you guys and I wanted to share my life with you, the good and the bad. I love you all. God bless you. Remember, we're all in this shit together, as I always say. Lisa sharing life stories with you. God bless you all. I love each and every one of you. Hold a place in my heart, and I mean that. True. And if anybody wants to talk today, ever has a bad day, come to me. I'm here for you. I truly mean that, okay? Take care. Bye.